Hello everyone, I'm Shani Bakshi, and on this channel, I usually travel the world via books, meaning I read one book from every country in the world. However, today I'm taking a bit of a break to review one of my most anticipated releases of the year, The Daughter of the Deep by Rick Riordan. So Rick Riordan is possibly one of the most beloved and esteemed authors here on booktube because he created the Percyverse, which is perhaps one of the best literary universes of all time, as it contains some of my most cherished stories and character. So when he announced that he's creating the standalone book outside of the Percy universe, let's just say I was extremely excited, along with basically any booktuber or reader alive. So what is this book even about? So the Daughter of the Deep follows Anna Docker, who is a freshman at Harding Pencroft Academy a five-year high school that graduates the best marine scientists, naval warriors, navigators, and underwater explorers of their time. Now, Anna's parents died two years ago while on a mysterious scientific expedition for the school, leaving her and her older brother to fend for themselves at HP. Now, Anna's a freshman, which means at the end of the year, she and the rest of the freshman year class will be taken on a mysterious weekend trip where they'll be faced with a series of trials which will determine if they are fit to continue at HP. Now, Anna's super nervous leading up to this class trip because she really hopes she got what it takes to stay at the only school that has been her home for the past two years. But all her worries fade away when on the way to the trials, her and the rest of the freshman class watch as these bombs just fly into HP completely leaving debris where there was once state-of-the-art facilities. Now, Anna and the freshman class and their very snobby alternate tech professor are the only survivors of this brutal attack and they really don't know what to do. But wait, there's more. This snobby, mysterious, and I use that word too much, but everyone in this book is mysterious. Now, this professor informs them that this was actually the work of Lynn Institute, their rival school, which have been in a cold war with HP for like at least a century or more. And Anna is actually what's at the center of all of this chaos. Now throughout the book, Anna and her amazing friends fight to find out why this is all happening and they battle the Lynn Institute and their bloodthirsty seniors all in a hope to save themselves and the legacy of HP. So overall, this book was certainly an amazing adventure story. Okay, so my camera cut off, but I was just saying that this synopsis really delivers in this book. It is such a jam-packed, action-packed book and the characters are really never getting a break because from one minute where their school is being destroyed to another where these seniors are attacking them with the most supernatural and unbelievable weapons and overall that's what makes this book really enjoyable to read because there's always something going on and you're never just sat sitting in the silence contemplating what's happening i think that's what makes a really great middle grade book because i don't think a lot of kids or young teens are looking for um, a super philosophical discussion but they but they can get those similar themes in the daughter of the deep but just through a lot of action and fun which i think is perfect for a middle grade book and another thing that this book has been praised about that i agree with is the amazing representation and diversity in the cast of characters the main character anna is actually an indian american female lead which is a first for rick riordan as he typically writes only male leads not including his um red pyramid series i i that's that's the wrong name i know but I haven't read them yet, so I don't know. But I think Rick Riordan did a great job at representing Anna Docker because while he weaves in aspects of Indian culture and um, Indian cuisine, he doesn't let that be. He doesn't let that just like consume her entire personality and leaves room for her to just be any other teenage girl, which I really appreciate. And the rest of the cast is also like pretty diverse. We have a black Mormon kid we have an affluent genius girl with autism and we have a brazilian scholarship student though truly she is so much more than that and i think this is what really separates this book from others because we 
get to see such different characters with such different backgrounds all coming together as sort of a found family trope, which while is a trope present in all his other books, the characters in those are quite similar to each other. And in Daughter of the Deep, they're all really different, but a crisis has made them come together. Additionally, the friendships in the book are really believable in a sense that they're not all ride or die as a lot of his other books are, but they're more similar to what you would expect in a real high school or middle school setting, which I do appreciate. However, when it comes to the negatives of the book, I found this book to be a bit slow and compared to the other books, I couldn't really get into it or get attached to the characters as I did with his Percy ones. And maybe because this book was just in for me in that way and these characters just weren't for me, but I feel like he does a better job of building an emotional attachment to his characters in his other and previous books. And maybe it's because he's trying to just pack it all into a standalone, which might have actually not helped him in this case. But I just felt like I didn't love anyone in this book. I just like liked them, which I think that definitely can negatively impact a book that has such high stakes because how do you expect a reader to really be invested in the story if they don't care what happens to the characters? Now while I won't say that I literally didn't care, I definitely would have felt more of an emotional punch if I had some personal stakes in the characters. Speaking of which, for a book that's so high stakes, I feel like the main character, Anna, is very emotionless and cold. Now while this could be written off as maturity or her just being a great leader character, I think it's really important to balance uh, emotion with a strong front because it was very show don't tell without that because we were told that Anna is sad but she never acts like it because she's supposed to be a strong character which makes us not really understand the gravity of what just happened to Anna and the rest of the freshmen. However, I would like to conclude this review with that this is actually a really good book. Even though I didn't fall in love with any of the characters, the plot is really strong, even though sometimes it falls on a few cliches around the end. And overall, I recommend this book to anyone looking for a quick and fun sci-fi fantasy read that will just keep them entertained for a few hours. And even though I know that there won't be a second book, I really hope Riordan reconsiders because I definitely think and a second book could expand on a lot of the interesting relationships and dynamics that were just introduced in this book. And um, in conclusion, I'd give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and I really hope you enjoyed this review. So something that I forgot to mention in the um, video is that one of my favorite parts of this book were the four house system. Ever since I was introduced to Harry Potter, I've kind of been obsessed with the idea of mindlessly grouping people. So when there was a Pottermore style quiz, I, I took up the opportunity. Now here you see me struggling trying to answer these questions because I am very indecisive when it comes to personality tests, which are obviously the most important deciding factors of anyone's personality. Um, so here you can see I like to watch mindlessly watch TV shows. Speaking of which, I cannot wait for the Percy Jackson TV show. Currently I'm struggling to c come up with things to say while I do this voiceover because I just need myself to hurry up and answer these questions. Um, I'm very competitive. Yes, that is true. Um, wow, this is an actual struggle. Percy, hero, Percy, hero, Percy, hero, because Solangelo exists. House Orga. That's a, that was an interesting choice. I really thought I would get House Dolphin or Shark. It's, I never saw myself as an empathetic healer, but you know, miracles. Feel free to leave your house in the comment section down below.